hi folks. Um, I wanted to continue on with some editing uh, tips in ArcGIS Pro. Um, so here we have some streams and rivers that I've been digitizing. Um, you can see them in kind of pink here. Um, if you click on one, you will see it highlighted in blue. Um, <laughs> you can um, select it that way. Um, let's just say that you want to uh, um, you want to add categories to these streams. Say you want to either add names um, or add categories in some way. So um, for example, perennial versus intermittent streams. Um, you do that through the attribute table. Um, so uh, for example, you can um, open the attribute table. Let's just do that. Um, I'm gonna scroll down here. Um, and you can see I've added a column here for, for the names of the streams. And in my previous video, um, we added names to each of these streams. Like um, if you highlight one, it's also highlighted on the table. So you know which one you've got. And that stream is called Little Beaver Creek. Um, but let's just say, um, so the other way you can highlight things is by selecting them in the table first, and then you can also see them selected on the map. So if you go all the way over here to the left, um, you'll see this little uh, sort of gray box. You can click there and it will highlight, um, select the item in your table and also in uh, your map so you know which one you're looking at and which one you're editing. Um, that wor this works fine if you're going to have a different name for each um, each stream in your table, right? But let's just say that you have another thing which is, like I said, uh, whether the stream is um, perennial or intermittent and you want to add that um, information into your table here. Um, so one of the things you can do, let's just um, first deselect all of these. Um, so I'm going to save all my edits because I can't um, change anything in the table until I save all my edits. Um, so save edits, yes. Um, so now you can see I can add a field into my table. Um, so right down here, add a field. Um, this opens up the attributes of each field. Um, uh, and I'm going to put per NEL. Wait, is that how you spell perennial? I don't know. Um, and let's say, I think that's some misspelling, but bear with me. Um, and it's going to be a text field. The length, let's just say it's 20. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's just make this a short integer field because um, what we'll do is we'll just name things um, as either uh, perennial or not perennial, right? So it's a one or a zero to indicate um, whether this is perennial or not. Um, so now I've got this in here. Um, if I go up here to the right thing, um, I'm going to close this now. Save all changes, yes. I'm applying changes to my table. Um, and <laughs> give it a second. Um, so now I have a new column, okay, with perennial spelled wrong, but 
just ignore I'm terrible at spelling um, so now um, it's only going to accept numbers into that field but now I can um, do essentially like batch editing um, I don't have to put a one or a zero individually into this column I can highlight multiple um, streams at one time and then um, add the one or the zero for the whole bunch of them okay so here's what I'm doing I can click over here on the left hand side and click the ones that I want to select um, if you hold down the shift key then um, that allows you to select you know a whole bunch of them at once so like here we go I'm going to start with the six and and then I'm going to click down at the one and it's going to select all of the ones in between okay or um, you can hold the control key um, and that'll highlight an individual one um, let's clear this um, okay so now I'm gonna hold down the control key and click on the one object ID one the first one and then I'm gonna hold down keep holding down the control key and click on the object ID number six and now they're both highlighted so use either the shift or the control key to select multiple items in your table um, or um, you can do it the other way um, which would be to select things in your map and you can do the same thing so um, let's see if I can uh, go to map go to select go to rectangle um, click and drag around an item and then hold down control um, click and drag it around another item so if you hold down control um, they should both be selected ah um, okay I'm lying um, okay so if you go to the map tab you can click um, selection select by rectangle um, if you hold down the shift key you can select more than one thing um, so if you click off of them that'll unselect them but if you hold down the shift key um, you'll select one continue holding down the shift key you can select another one okay um, so I'm going to select three here uh, so now I've got three different ones highlighted I want to say that those are all perennial streams if I go to the editing tab across the top here um, under selection um, you can click attributes this little thing right here attributes um, this will open up a little um, window over here on the right hand side so the weird thing that you have to do if you want to um, actually edit all of them is you have to select them all again over here in this um, in this window so um, right now just object ID 5 is selected and I can um, you can see this is what's going to go into the table over here um, under five is it's going to have the name and whether it's perennial or not um, if you want to select all of them and put in that they're all perennial at the same time um, hold down the shift key select them all here see they're all highlighted in blue again you can see the table down here changed slightly and now it says different values and then perennial null this is where you go in and you put in one for it's a perennial stream um, and then you apply those okay um, I was trying to get to the apply button down at the bottom here um, so now you can see I have these ones highlighted and they all have a, a one in that column okay um, 
if you want to highlight and just edit one of them at a time, right? Um, like this number five here, um, you can do that as well. So um, I, this one, I, I can change just the name for this one, Washburn Farm Creek. Um, and change it just in this table, but I can also highlight them all at once. And um, so if I s hold down the shift key, yep, I do want to <laughs> change those. Um, but if I hold down the shift key here um, and get all of these highlighted and all of them highlighted here, I can um, change something in all of their call or all of their rows in the table at the same time. Uh, so I hope that's helpful for you. Um, please, uh, if you like this video, please like it and um, subscribe to my channel. Okay, thanks very much.